Hey, what's up, guys? The Unlucky Breaker coming to you with 2019-2020 Series 2 Hockey Happy Box. So, Series 1 was kind of a big letdown for me. I think it was a big letdown for a lot of people. Unfortunate thing is, uh, the other sports, man, they've, the price have been going up, and so is hockey. I mean, the other sports have some, some legs to stand on with Zion and the Zion Mania and John Morant, especially in basketball. You know, hockey... If you want to raise your price, make sure it's the years when like Connor McDavid or Austin Matthews came in. You had your shot. The rookies aren't as great right now, so I would say just kind of leave them where they were till till you get that stud. Like next year, if uh, Alex Lef Lefreniere or whatever his name is comes in, you know, and they got some, and he does starts doing awesome, you know, then start looking at raising your prices. But I mean, this for ninety bucks is kind of yeah, it's a little on the high side. So Juna. Luoto, left wing for the Winnipeg Jets. It's got the old old school Jets jersey on. Sergeyev, Niski, Zuccarello. Um, same thing with football. Football was, I mean, it was an okay class, but I mean, they they missed their opportunity the last couple of years. If they wanted to raise the price on some of those, I mean, especially with Saquon and everybody, Ekblad, Schwartz. So we got a rookie marquee, Joachim Nygaard. Kind of looks like. I'll get Connor McDavid for a second, but Stam, the Stammer, and Charlie McAvoy, John Gibson. So we'll see. We'll see. I like Series 2 because they do have the the OPG and the Marquee rookies a lot of times. Um, gives a little more oomph to it. Peter Mrazek, Bowie, and Nikita Gusev, OPG Marquee rookie. Timo Meyer. Carlson and Robin Lear. Linear. So, I mean, Series 2, I mean, obviously you're not getting the Jackies. Well, you could if it was the the ice one from... So, Capo Kakanen. So, that's the goalie. I think Capo Kako is the... Other obvious, bigger named rookie that's in Series 2. Ovi, Perenko, and Colin White. Been working lately, so I don't know if Ovi's actually hit that big numer mile numeric milestone yet. Um, he was stuck two goals short. So we got a Young Gun Canvas. Cool. Terby Doc. So Young Gun Canvases, I think they're every one in 48 packs maybe, or... Essentially, every one in three or four boxes. So, that's actually a decent hit. Always fun to get. Bacitates are the big hits. Um, exclusives. And then, of course, the high gloss. So, being as we got the canvas, probably means we won't get a numbered card. But, you never know. Matt Zuccarello canvas. Gallagher. Mitch Marner. I mean, fun pictures, though. One thing about that's one thing about Upper Deck. They have some awesome photographs. Um, do really well as far as that goes. Kind of like Tops. Tops always has beautiful photography. Sometimes the cards aren't that great. Line A, Getzlaff, Hartman, and they continued with these rookie portraits. Kind of like the the eighties glamour shots, nineties glamour shots. Noah Dobson, Dustin Brown, Jordan Everly, Gustav Nyquist. Gone through two. You normally get an average of six rookies per box. Six young guns. Backstrom, Vatnan, Ernshaw. Third one, Kirby Doc. So, I actually liked him. I think he has potential to be good. Um, it's a little rough cut on the bottom. Um, happens a lot of times when you get stuff mass produced and that blade starts getting kind of dull. So, doesn't get that crisp, clear line on the cards. And there's really no way to to do it. The corner was kind of in yeah, on it. Get, get a little sketchy on the corner too, but we'll see. Zingo, Filippuli, Matt Martin, Cody Cece. Oh, we got an acetate. Um, Carter Hutton. So, not a huge name. Uh, of course, the young guns are what you're looking for in these, but obviously you can kind of see through them. But yeah, I mean, those are always great to get. Love getting those. Adam Larson, Corey Perry, and Froelich. I didn't know Froelich was still playing. Froelich. Braden Point. 
Just scoring something. William Carlson to bring it. And another Nikita Gusev. Um, it's not the same one. It's a different. So we got the. We got the OPG Marky Rookie. And the OPG Marky Rookie. So it's two different types. Um, same card. Alex Anderson, Jimmy Howard, Jordan Stahl. I mean, honestly, I mean, unless you, it's a big, I mean, most of the time your rookies aren't going to run over $80 a box. Um, now, after the McDavid and the, so Corey Perry, regular OPG, and Austin Matthews had such great openings in the last few years, some of the, the bigger name rookies kind of started coming out. Um, made the box a little more expensive. Pedersen was a, a pleasant surprise. I didn't, I didn't see Pedersen being what he was, but okay, we got a blue marquee rookie of Dominic Kubliak. Not no, what is it? Not numbered, but yeah, so it's a variant. So it drove the prices even higher um, for regular stuff, but this year's class has been, it's been really weak this year. Um, Quentin Hughes is in Series 1, and he was the only all-star out of all the rookies. I don't think he's going to have much staying power. It's just defensive guys. Man, uh, they don't carry the value as, as offensive players do. I mean, obviously, because you can see offensive you know, scores and stats and stuff where they can climb charts where defensive guys, they don't I mean being able to get a decent plus minus or how many shots they block. It's just not something people really care about, I guess. And I mean, other than I mean, if you like hockey, I mean, obviously it's important. But if you're just strictly collecting for for future value, that's not something people look at. Big hits, you know, just being able to shut down your other team's offensive guys. That's that's huge in hockey, but not in the collecting world. So Alex Tuck, Devin Dubnik, and Clem Austin. So another offensive player from. For the Blues, always good to get offensive players. Always, always, always. Cost the spear. Just, just bought a autograph. SP authentic of him. Having a down year. He's another one. Good defensive player. He was a really good offensive defensive player a couple years ago. Um, he, that's him in the back. And um, kind of struggled offensively this year, and so he's kind of forgotten about. So if he's not putting up points, nobody really looks at him. Mini tro check. So I'm just kind of worried about, especially like last year with, with Darlene and, and Miro Heiskanen, if they're not putting up huge offensive numbers, where are they are going to end up landing? Because, um, I mean, they're solid defensemen, but very, and there's that rough cut again along the bottom. You kind of see it um, on my hand. So, But Elvis Merzlinkins. Um Kind of looks rough along the side, but that's actually the net on the back side. A little rough on the top. Not one of the best cuts of uh, upper decks had in a while. Normally they're pretty solid. But, but hey, I mean, can't complain about goalies either. Goalies really, if you get the right goalie, they they maintain a lot of value. Jake Gensel, Brian Elliott, that off, that off. Uh, canvas of Kuznetsov. I really like. Evgeny Kuznetsov, he had the little cocaine incident. Like Connor McDavid. And that's the true Connor McDavid from the set. And series one had just a bunch of different years of Connor McDavid inserts, but it's the actual one from the set. I ended up posting on Instagram or Twitter or something and had a bunch of lines of cocaine on the table. I mean, not not the best look. He said he didn't do it, and I think he then he tested positive for it, so. I think, I think, then they suspended him, so, for a couple weeks. So that's when Kuznetsov stuff went down quite a bit. Just a... Corey Schneid's just an obligator. Oh, focus. Landis Skog, Bergeron, and Jesper Boquist. Portrait. Mikko Koivu. Robbie Fabrini, oh, Robbie Fabry, used to be on the St. Louis, Alex Martinez, long time LA Kings, I don't think, yeah, he, I don't think he's ever been on any other team besides the Kings, got a couple rings with him though, 
Brice, Colton Sisson, Manta, Littman, Barzi, Canvas, nice bars all. Like him. Marlamov, Craig Smith, and Blake Wheeler. Last few packs. I think we've hit all of our young guns. I'd love to see a exclusive or a, a gloss, but I mean that's wishful thinking. Truba, Skinner, Huberdo, Thomas Grace, and we did get one more. That's Carl Grunderson. Grunstrom. Carl Grunstrom. Uh, I'm guessing he's Swedish. Yeah, born in Sweden. King's left wing, offensive player. So there we go. Beauvillier. Carey Price. Good looking for him. Nate Schmidt. You no, know, I like I like just to make one set. I think every year just. At least buy one box of Upper Deck Series 1 and Series 2. A lot of times I'll get two or three just to make sure. Um, but last few years I hadn't hit the big names. So I've kind of cut down on the amount. Because as I say, with these you can probably get the best rookie out of this series for the price you get a whole box for without all this extra stuff. Uh, but you don't really have a chance of getting the, the exclusives or the canvases. Just, but yeah, you can get probably get a graded copy of that. So what is this? Oh, nice. Trickster. Johnny Goudreau. So this was probably going to make the box. Uh, normally these are really, really short print. Um, yeah, the little acetate cards. Don't know if they're one per box now. I haven't really watched a whole lot of these open up, but beautiful card. Kind of got the ice, old ice look, upper deck ice. A little foil refractor. Edler, Manson, and Cassian. Rounds it out. So that was it. I mean, I did okay. Got a canvas, got the trickster, got some decent young guns. And um, so that's it. Uh, I should be getting, I think, SP Authentic comes out soon. Uh, of course, my favorite Ultimate's coming out soon. So keep on the lookout if you're a hockey fan. Watch for those to be broke here. And see you soon. Peace.